Hello, Commander. Computer reporting. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna show you how to set up Jay-Z and television on your MacBook Pro or whatever Mac you have in case you've been having some issues like I was. I had a hell of a time trying to get this thing to work. Um, and luckily I found a, uh, a GUI for it that um, pretty much encapsulates the binary and does all the hard work for you. You know, you don't have to uh, like do any terminal commands or anything like that, just does it all in the background for you. You just point and click what ROM you want to play and you play. Um, and that's what it's about, is playing. So let me show you how to do this. You're going to need a few things first and I got, um, I got links to all this stuff at the bottom. Okay, so what you're going to need is GUI and Television 2.1, I guess is what it is. It's, this is the, the, the GUI, the, the, the wrapper for the um, binary which is found in this zip file, Jay-Z and Television for Mac OS X. Um, and then you're going to need SDL 1.2.15. And finally, you're going to need these two um, BIOS files for the Intellivision, exec.bin and grom.bin. Now, I'm not going to link to these two files because it's not legal for me to. But if you own the Intellivision Lives um, uh, CD-ROM, uh, you can grab those from there or just look for them on, on Google. They're readily available as long as you know what you're looking for. And I don't know, I think you know what you're looking for, right? Exec.bin and grom.bin. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, well, you want to extract your JZ TV um, zip file. And basically what you really need from here is the binary inside the bin folder. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to make a new folder and we're going to call this JZ INTV. Okay. And in that folder, we're going to place the JZ and television um, binary and the two BIOS files. Now there's a, a third BIOS file. If you want to play um, ECS games, I'm not interested in playing those games, so I don't I don't have it here. I'm not sure what the name of the BIOS file is, but the GUI will tell you that it, it's not there. So just jot down that na that name if you want to uh, play some ECS games. Um, but for this uh, um, in, in, in tutorial, I'm not going to play those games, so I'm just going to give you uh, the basics. But it's the same concept, okay? So. Once you're done with that, um, put this folder, this JZ and television folder, anywhere you want, okay? I put mine in the applications folder uh, just because it's easier to find, and there it is. Once you're done there, you want to um, install, well, it's not really install. What you're doing is you're going to copy this bundle into your library um, frameworks folder. Now you can either do it locally like I'm doing right now um, from your local library or better yet if you go into the Macintosh hard drive you go to the system library right here and you go to frameworks it's better to put it in here because if you ever create a new profile you don't have to uh, copy this again so you just cut sorry about that you just copy the entire bundle if I could get this new MacBook to cooperate there we go authenticate it and bam all right so now we're ready to install the GUI oh yeah and I guess I forgot one more thing you need are ROMs so if you don't have any Intellivision ROMs you better get to uh, Google quick okay so now open up the DMG for uh, GUI and television and basically all you're gonna do and there's the Intellivision guy if you're old like me you'll know exactly what I'm talking about Okay, so now just drag and drop that guy right into your applications folder and you're set. If you, if you open something, a, a ROM, and it tells you it didn't have permission to execute it, that just means you need some a little bit uh, elevated permissions for the binary. So the easiest, I don't know how to do this on the, on the Mac GUI, but it's really easy and you can, I'll, I'll have the command in, um, down below that you can just copy and paste into terminal. The easiest way to do it without having to put in a path is actually just go to where the um, 
the Jay-Z and uh, television um, file is at. So I put mine in the applications folder. Applications, Jay-Z and television. And if you do an LS, that'll show you everything that's in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna schmode. I'm just gonna give it 755. Um, that's full read, write, execute access. Um, just, you know, it's easier. Um, and Jay-Z, and you press enter, and that's it, you're done. Now it's, it, it, uh, it's got rights to execute uh, ROMs and stuff. Who knows what else it does, I don't know. Okay, so once you're done, you're ready to run games. So what you do is you go to your applications folder and you're gonna go to GUI and television. You start GUI and television. When you start it, it's going to ask you where is Jay-Z and television at? So you just you know browse to the path and that's it. That's all you gotta do. If for some reason you cancel all of that, you can't get that, that screen back, just go into GUI television and television preferences and tell it where it's at here. Um, and this is a good idea to set up your game folder, that way you don't have to be scrolling around. Um, so it's, it's optional, you don't have to set it, but um, I, I like to. And also, uh, don't play games in Windows, man. Full screen, what the hell? Um, if you have a keyboard um, a hack file or, um, or a joystick uh, a configuration, uh, that's where you would you know, sele select this and then choose the file that you wanna use. Um, I'm going to stick with the defaults um, for now, and I have some words about that in a second. Um, so that's it. Once you're, once you're, you're set, you're set. Um, you got everything input in there correctly, hopefully, and you press OK. So go to File. You're going to go to Open, and blah, blah, blah. Here I am on my, in my game uh, ROMs uh, folder. So um, let's try um, Astro Smash. That's a... A big hit and um, sometimes the the keyboard won't work um, right off the bat um, like games like Pac-Man work right off the bat but like Astro Smash which requires you to shoot sometimes won't work so what you have to do is change the keyboard configuration to F6 um, just press F6 now it's ready to go press 1 and now I'm playing and if you have the overlays, um, everything works, you know, with the numbers. Uh, you could use your uh, number pad if you have a full size keyboard, or if you're on a, a Mac, just use the top row numbers, which means you could put, you know, uh, one for uh, auto fire, which is what I got right now. I'm not touching the, the keyboard, I'm just, uh, aside from moving them left to right. Um, and that's it. There's uh, Astro Smash, and it's working great. It has, you know, Good response time and uh, I don't know I like it um, to get out of the emulator or game is uh, F1 okay so um, that's it now if you know let's try some other games so you know that it's not just a fluke uh, we got some purchase ROMs here let's try uh, DK2 is a good one let's try that guy I'm not so good at this one on the keyboard so let's see, let's try it. And this is a really fun game. I kinda, now my name's Coleco Joe, and I kinda almost like this a little bit more than the Coleco version. And I know what you're saying, Coleco Joe and your first video is an Intellivision tutorial. Yeah, you know, it happens. I figured there's gonna be some people who are really confused like I was when um, I was trying to figure this stuff out and this video would help. So here is DK2, it worked great, and I just died, but you get the gist. Um, Pac-Man, same thing, uh, let's do Miss Pac-Man, because that one is superior to the um, regular Pac-Man that came out um, in the 80s, and here it is, and it's just... Uh, you know, works great. I wish this had uh, shaders because I'm really addicted to uh, scan lines. And I don't know if it's just, uh, you know, in my head or something, but I seem to play better when there's scan lines. At least I think I do. <laughs> and don't mind me, I never really go after the, uh, the monsters when they change. I just try to clear the, uh, 
the maze as fast as I can because eventually you get all the points from the fruit and all that stuff if you even bother with that. Oop. And it's keyboard action, so, you know, and there's Pac Miss Pac-Man. So F1 to exit, and that's it. You're all set, guys. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to help. Uh, other than that, you're on your own. See ya.